All right, this is second grade math lesson 13-2, and we're gonna be finding unknown measurements. So kind of a math mystery, it should be pretty fun. Julie and Steve each cut a piece of yarn. The total length of both pieces is 12 centimeters. Use centimeter cubes to measure each piece of yarn. Circle Julie and Steve's pieces, then explain your thinking. So. Because at home we don't have our centimeter uh, cubes, we're just gonna use the actual measurement here on our ruler. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit so it's a little bit easier for me to measure. So now we need to have two pieces that we put together that equal 12 centimeters. So we're gonna measure both of these, okay? This one here is four centimeters plus four centimeters. So this one here is eight centimeters. Let's measure the purple one. The purple here is four centimeters this way and five centimeters this way. So the purple one is nine centimeters. And then this green one here is four centimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna write four centimeters, nine and eight. So we need to figure out what two numbers that we can add together to equal 12, okay? Let's take a look at what we have here. Eight plus nine, eight plus nine equals 17, so that doesn't work. Uh, let's see, nine plus four, nine plus four is 13. So let's keep trying here. Um, four plus eight, oh yeah, four plus eight works. Four plus eight is 12. Then it says explain your thinking. Um, you can either write down your thinking or you can explain it to another adult or a sibling that you might have at the house. But you could say, um, I added two pieces of yarn to equal 12 centimeters. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the back here. All right, Michelle jumped 24 inches. Tim jumped seven fewer inches than Michelle. How far did Tim jump? So we know the total length of Michelle was 24 minus seven fewer from Tim. 24 minus seven. So you can use the number line and you know that 24 minus seven will take you to 17, okay? So, and they use this kind of as a, and a number line looks a lot like yardsticks and rulers. Take a look at that, they're numbers that go forward and if you head this way, they get smaller. And if you go this way, they get larger. So they use kind of a yardstick, which is like a number line, okay? How does drawing a yardstick help you solve the problem above? You can say, it is like a number line, okay? So now a stamp measures two centimeters in length. How many centimeters long are the two stamps? So this is one centimeter plus one centimeter plus one centimeter plus one centimeter. One plus one plus one plus one equals four centimeters. So two plus two equals four, okay? All right, Stuart's desk is 64 centimeters long. I'm gonna just draw Okay, his desk is 64, 64 across. Okay, his dresser is seven centimeters longer than his desk. So this is his dresser and it is plus seven. It is plus seven longer. How long is his dresser? Well, we know if this is 64 here and it's seven inches longer, we're gonna add that 64 plus seven equals, I'm gonna stack it, 64 plus seven. Four plus seven is 11, and one plus six is seven, so it equals 71 centimeters, or 71 centimeters, okay? All right, let's head on to our independent practice page here on page 769. Write an equation, remember an equation is just a math sentence, for the unknown number. Then solve with a picture or another way. I like to draw pictures, that helps me, but you're also welcome to do it whatever way works best for you. Okay, Felipe's pencil box is 24 centimeters long. So I'm gonna do that here. Here's Felipe's, I put F for Felipe, and this is 24 centimeters long, okay? 
Joe's pencil box is three centimeters shorter. So I know this is gonna be minus three. So this is Joe's, three centimeters shorter. How long is Joe's pencil box? Well, I know 24 minus three, four minus three is one, two minus nothing is two, is 21 centimeters. So how long is Joe's pencil box? It is 21 centimeters. Okay, Clark threw a red ball and a blue ball. He threw the red ball 17 feet. So I'm gonna do uh, R for red, and I'm gonna put 17 feet. I do FT is my abbreviation. He threw the blue ball seven feet further. So the blue ball, he did the same amount as this, plus seven more feet. So how far did Clark throw the blue ball? Well, it's gonna be 17 plus seven. So let's take a look at that. Let's stack that 17 plus seven. Seven plus seven is 14. And one plus one is two. So we have a total of 24 feet. So he threw blue ball 24 feet okay so our equation on this one we did it over here but if you wanted to do the equation you could do 24 minus 3 equals question mark the equation here would be 17 plus 7 equals question mark okay now let's take a look at this we've got a rectangle and on rectangles the top and bottom are the same and the sides are exactly the same so let's take a look at this Ashley's map shows where animals land and water are at the zoo. The distance around her map is 38 inches. What is the length of the missing side? So we're going to put together the equation. Now look how easy this is. I know if this is 11, this also has to be 11. So let's do our equation. 11 plus 8 plus 11 plus 8 equals. So I know that 11 plus 11 equals 22 and I know 8 plus 8 equals 16 okay and you may have different strategies that you want to use this is just my strategy you might want to do 19 plus 19 or you can stack them and add them as you go 2 plus 6 is 8 and 3 plus 1 I'm sorry 2 plus 1 is 3 I was thinking too far ahead is 38 inches which is our total amount so we know that missing side definitely has to be 11 inches we just want to double check it here Let's go into our last page, our independent practice page. All right, let's read number six. A brown puppy is 43 centimeters tall. So I'm gonna put a B for brown and it's 43 tall. So I'm gonna make that 43 centimeters tall. A spotted puppy is seven centimeters shorter than the brown puppy. So I'm gonna do an S for spotted and it's seven inches shorter. So it would be 43 minus seven, okay? And then it says a white puppy, ooh, look at this one. A white puppy is 14 centimeters taller than the brown puppy. So if the white puppy is 17 taller than the brown puppy, we know that's gonna be 43 plus 14. But now, it's, let's see what it's asking us. It says, how tall is the spotted puppy? So the spotted puppy we already know is 43 minus seven. So what do you need to know? We need to know how tall the brown puppy is and how many inches shorter. So 43 minus seven. Three minus seven doesn't work, so we're gonna have to regroup. That becomes 13 and that becomes three. 13 minus seven is six and three minus nothing is three. So we know that he is 36 centimeters tall. Okay, let's take a look at our vocabulary. Complete the sentences using the terms below. We're gonna be comparing a foot, a yard, and an inch, okay? A foot is 12 inches. An inch is one segment of the ruler. And then a yard is like our yardstick. There are about three of these, three rulers put together. So my paper clip is about what long? Is my paper clip, what is the paper clip in class about this long? No, it's tiny, it's gonna be an inch. Is about one inch long. My math book is about one foot. Our math books are about one foot long. And my baseball bat is about one yard. Okay, any yards, about three feet. Okay, higher order thinking. Jack jumped 15 inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do J for Jack equals 15 inches. I N. 
Tyler jumped one inch less than Jack. So I'm gonna write Tyler equals one less than Jack. So if Jack did 15 and he's one less, we know that's gonna be 14 inches. I can just do that in my head. And then, and two inches more than Randy. So let's take a look at that. Tyler jumped one inch less than Jack and two inches more than Randy. How far did each person jump? Well, we know Jack jumped 15. We know Tyler was one less than Jack, so it's 14. Now, Randy, this one can be a little bit tricky. So Randy here was two inches uh, more than, okay, sorry, let me, Tyler jumped one inch less than Jack and two inches more than Randy. So Tyler was two inches more than Randy. So here's our Tyler that was two inches more. So what plus two equals 14? I know that 12 plus two equals 14. So this means Randy only jumped 12 inches. Okay, let's look at our assessment. Again, when we see these, it lets us know we're gonna have questions just like this on our test. Kim was 48 inches tall in January. So I'm gonna put a J for January for Kim. She's 48 inches in January. She grew nine inches during the year. So she's growing nine more inches. How tall is Kim at the end of the year? So 48 inches plus nine inches. Let's stack it and add it. 48 plus nine, eight plus nine I know is 17. Four plus one is five is 57 inches, okay? So again, here's our equation. We could write it here on the line if we wanted to, but uh, great job, everybody.